In the following situation, the tangent line of the shot changes when the cue ball is moved, the object ball is moved, you play low or high on the cue ball, or it never changes. It changes when the object ball is moved. As you see, the cue ball's position has no impact on the tangent line, because the ghost ball will always be the same. High and low changes the path of the cue ball, but not the tangent line. Only when the object ball is moved to a different spot, the tangent line will head to another point on the rail. When banking a ball very hard, you have to aim for more angle, less angle, it depends on the rails, or it doesn't change. You have to aim for more angle because a hard shot will shallow the angle. The rails of course make also a difference, but you will always have to play for more angle when hitting hard. How can this shot be made directly into the corner pocket? With left spin, with right spin, with a center ball or it's just not possible. This shot can be made with right spin and a rail first contact as close as possible to the object ball. This frozen combination points to the short rail. How can we make it into the pocket? It's not possible aiming to the left side, aiming to the right side or by playing a draw shot. We are using the effect of cut and use throw by aiming to that side, the yellow ball will push the red into that direction and therefore it will go into the pocket. You wanna make the 8 ball into the pocket that is blocked by your opponent's ball, what do you do? Use follow and hit hard, use follow and hit soft, use center and a medium speed or use low and hit hard. The right answer is center ball and medium speed. Some of you might have chosen low and hard and yes you're partially right. The low on the cue ball will transfer follow onto the 8 ball, but since the ball is so deep in the pocket, we don't need to make life difficult and play it hard with low, because that way we will also lose accuracy. The cue ball will move on the tangent line for a period of time when you're playing a stop shot, you're playing a follow shot, you're playing a draw shot or on every shot. The cue ball will always move for a period of time on a tangent line. The harder you hit, the longer it will stay. The softer you hit, the sooner it will leave it. On a stop shot, it will stay on a tangent line the whole time. When hitting as low as possible on a straight shot, the cue ball will roll forward, draw back, stop or there is no clear answer to this question. Surprise, it's not a draw shot, there is actually no clear answer and that's because I didn't say anything about the speed that we're hitting. The backwards rotation is not consistent and gets lost on its way to the object ball, so it either could be a draw shot, a stop shot or even a rolling cue ball depending on how much rotation is left on the cue ball. When hitting this ball very soft with outside English, the ghost ball should aim into the long rail, the short rail, the center of the pocket or it's unpredictable. The exact spot isn't predictable, but it's definitely the long rail and that's because on a soft shot there is way more spin induced throw than cut induced throw. This means the left spin on a cue ball will throw the object ball to the right and therefore you have to aim it into the long rail. When playing a follow shot into the rail, the rotation on the cue ball will reverse, 
people stay the same, will be lost completely, or it depends on the type of rails. The rotation will always be the same. Here for example the cue ball hits the rail with follow, bounces out and then it travels back to the rail once again because of the forward rotation. This is by the way called a force follow shot. When playing from here towards the second diamond on the rail, on most tables the cue ball will hit the long rail, fall into the corner pocket, hit the short rail or it will drop into the side pocket before it reaches the third rail. On most tables it will drop into the corner pocket because this is a reference shot for a free ball kicking system I'm using. By the way I'm doing this shot on every new table I'm playing on because that way I can easily see if the rails are playing long or short. Okay I admit sometimes it was a bit tricky but how many questions did you get right and maybe also share this video with your friends to see who knows more about pool and if you like this video of course consider to leave a like, comment, subscribe to my channel and ring the bell to not miss a single video. Thanks for watching guys and as always see you at the next lesson. Take care.